Okay, we can't fight with these. Or can we? Can we? Slap me. Ow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another tiny, tiny cooking, cooking competition. competition. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> Welcome to another tiny, tiny cooking tiny competition. <laughs> Damn it. Did you say tiny titty Yeah, let me check. Welcome to another tiny cooking, cooking competition. competition. Pizza edition. <laughs> so today we are gonna try to make pizzas in Easy Bake Ovens. ovens. And what's amazing is that for some reason, Buzzfeed owns four Easy Bake Ovens. Yeah. So we were each able to get our own Easy Bake Oven. So like, I was trying to think of like, what could we make with Easy Bake Oven that's like really simple and also would be competitive. Sorry. I feel like there are too many objects for you to play with. This is so much fun. <laughs> so I was like, what could we make that will fit in this tiny pan? Pizza. Pizza. A pan pizza. A pan pizza. Mm. You know, remember how I took that from you? So Stop dropping it. As was just brought up to me, and I will repeat it for camera. I don't know why I give it back to you. I'm trusting you. So this is actually the first tiny cooking competition where both the steaks and the food are tiny. So what pizza are you gonna make? I'm gonna make my, one of my favorite pizzas. Top three ingredients are, I love pepperoni, I love green peppers, and I love olives. Ooh, yeah. these are green olives, actually. Honestly, though, green olives are good, too. I was gonna say, this is also, first one where neither of us is using a recipe. Oh, yeah, we're both coming up with these in our own little heads. Pizza, though, is one of those things that's pretty difficult to screw up. Although, again, this is an easy big oven. I will be doing a ham and pineapple pizza because I think that ham and pineapple is the best pizza. I agree. Well, I don't know if I think it's the best, but I do you think it's really good? I think that the sweetness and the fattiness from and the salt, the, the salt, and the acid, <laughs> and the heat. <laughs> I was trying not to say the acid. What's the host name? Samin Nusrat. She said she was taking a break, but it's like she doesn't have to because Kristen's right here <laughs> picking up that mantle. I will make a video with you someday. Sorry, right, hold on, stretching. Stretching break. Ham and pineapple pizza. The first time I had it, I thought it was decent and I like didn't think anything of it. I didn't realize it was controversial, but people have feelings. So I think you're taking a risk. If anything we've learned about tiny cooking competition is that risks are not rewarded. So I look forward to winning. So we also have this massive Kroger. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no! Wait, we're sharing these. I, well, that, you're right. I want this one. Okay, this, this one, this one, one, this one. Then I want this one. one. Oh, I just wasn't expecting it to explode in my hand. <laughs> Pillsbury Doughboy. Okay, so there's several in here. In my mind, I was like, there's only gonna be three. Turn it on, Turn. Like, just like a real oven, one button. We have no idea whether that is actually gonna work. Okay, I'm just like making this into a little patty. Wow, if you actually win this one, we will be even. That's fun. Do we have olive oil? No. We got olive oil. We got olive oil. Ooh, this actually smells good. Where's this from? The back of the canteen. The back of the Ooh, We canteen. found it in the back of the truck. I just put a little bit of garlic there, so, and I'm gonna put cheese over that so the garlic will bake into the dough a little bit, hopefully. Mine's falling apart. Oh, you're already on the cheese part? Yeah. Wait, you're not gonna put sauce on it? <laughs> so you gonna take all the cheese off. I forgot. I should have told you. I should have just let you do it. Yeah, well. <laughs> Oops, I messed up the first one, which is a tradition on tiny cooking competition. <laughs> I think I put too much sauce on here. Yeah, me too, actually. Oh, you definitely put too much sauce on there. So I think the key to a good pizza is to just dump a whole bag of cheese on it. Meat time. These are really cute. They're tiny pepperonis. Oh, do I not leave room for ham and pineapple? I'm gonna <laughs> cut the pepper. Can I have one? Yeah. Can you use an actual knife? You're just gonna finish cutting it before you use an actual knife? Yeah, I tried. I thought you said you liked seeing your opponent struggle. I do, but I don't want them to be injured because then the video is over. <laughs> the first time any of us has to get stitches, that will be the end of tiny cooking Tiny competition. hospitalization competition. <laughs> How am I gonna get this pineapple on here? I really got to squish her down. Oh, those are tiny pineapples. Yeah. Yours looks beautiful. Can you show that one off? She was born for the stage. I'm putting a little bit of olives on here no, to get no. the saltiness and compliment. I'm ready to put mine in the oven. I'm gonna do just a quick little layer of Parmesan. I can't get this open. I don't care that much. All right, let's go. Oh, f you know what? No, this is not flat enough. Maybe I'll just shove it down and then whatever overflows, whatever, it's fine. I'm shoving it down. Now it looks ugly. It's fine if it looks ugly, as long as it fits in the oven. Do Just not try this at home. Is that working? <laughs> oh no. Well. How deep do you push it in? Got it in the oven. How do you get it out? Do we time it? How long do you think it should be in there? Three minutes? Yeah, I'm gonna for... say like 10 minutes actually. 10? Uh -huh. So yeah, now, Wait. Oh, I think this is gonna be a disaster, but I also think that we will have ruined the ovens. So, so tiny cooking win -win. competition. <laughs> I'm gonna inspect my little pizza. Where is she? I do smell that. 
Well, then I must have dealt them. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, here, I see her. I see her, I see her. I just can't get her. She's so close, but so far away. So she is not ready because the cheese is not melted. She's going back in. Every Shit. time I, I take it out and push it back in, it gets stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay. I can tell you that right now, it's not done. God damn it, Ugh, it's ruining my pizza. Okay, going back inside. I'm like trying really hard not to get discouraged by how much I ruin it every time I take it out. Basically, I, I already know I'm gonna have to make a second one because it's gonna look terrible. And the second one I make, I'm gonna make it the exact same way and I'm gonna keep it in for 15 minutes and I'm not taking it out. Why Shit. are these designed like this? Because they don't want children sticking to their, stick hands their hands in, there? in the oven. I'm not a child. I'm not a child. Make this child's toy designed for me. We're gonna try tipping this. I'll push in on this side. Oh, oh, she's crowning. You're hitting nothing. I'm helping. <laughs> this is not attractive. Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh no, oh sorry, oh no, the gooey. Oh God. Okay, so, no. Oh, <laughs> My pizza is A, not finished. B, squished and messed up. C, I used a little bit too much roll. So now everything's expanding. Oh no. Yeah, this is the thing. They get puffy and they then when you puffy. take them out prematurely and you have to put them back in, they rub up against the sides as you push them in. So then all the ingredients get flung off. I have to start it's, over. It's disheartening. It's gotta be super thin dough. The dough is cooked through. It actually is done. It looks like a cafeteria school pizza. I'm gonna try it. Stretch time. <laughs> <laughs> I swallowed a piece of my hair. It's not good, but like, it's also like, I will eat it. Okay, I understand the primary issue here. So for second attempt, I think we're gonna do lush dough. I might add the ham and pineapple at the end. Oh! <laughs> this is how I know this thing's not coming out. Also, this dough does not seem that cooked. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. Try it. It tastes pretty good. I don't like the dough. I'm gonna switch to the other dough. Really? Because even though this dough is cooked, I just don't like the way it tastes in combination with the sauce and the cheese. You don't but like the femi dough? I don't like the femi dough. <laughs> I need butch dough. I'm gonna maintain using the dough. I think that there's a way to do it. It's gonna involve like really making it very thin and very oily. This feels a lot like when Samin made the focaccia in the Italy episode. Samin, Kristen has a huge crush on you. <laughs> Please watch these videos and come hang out with us. <laughs> Why would you blow up my spot like that? She knows. Every time you squish it, it just, it goes out. When you squish it, it just comes back in. <laughs> you, look, I'm making progress. Why are you mean? I'm not mean. Something I just realized, since this dough is pre-cooked, it's really hard to like pull it into thinner strips because it's not gonna cook back together. That's cool. Don't help her. I'm doing this in the most wasteful way and I'm really sorry. I'm covered in oil. I'm covered in oil and I'm messy and, and I'm, I'm sad and I'm alive. It like, tastes it, like a Lunchables pizza. It looks like an edible picture frame. The garlic was a good idea. Yeah, I'm that smart. I'm stealing. Give me that garlic. I love to steal from you, but then discourage others from helping you. Don't give her tips. I'm a little worried about how thick that crust is for you. It's not gonna rise, so don't worry. This is my layer of dough. This is as thin as I can possibly get it. I don't think I can get it any thinner. I am making an effort to make this flatter than the previous time. I'm gonna do a really thin layer of sauce because there's not enough room and I don't want my pizza to get stuck in the oven. Oven. And then this video is over because we broke the oven. No, 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 we have the rice that because it scales. I've already put my pepperoni on. I've put my peppers on. I'm just putting a little bit of olives. I'm gonna do final sprinkle of oregano parmesan, and then I'm ready to bust this bad boy in the oven. I think I'm ready for this to go in the oven. I think it's gonna fit this time. Yours is probably thinner than mine. Mine is not that thin. I've been told this is our last attempt at making pizza, so hope she's a winner. All right, she got in. Ooh, I love hearing that sizzle. That means there's something already in the oven that is burning. Sorry for whoever makes videos of these ovens next, because we really kind of put them through a lot. Mine made it in as well. I'm not gonna see you for 20 minutes, so do your best, bitch. Have fun. Time to take my pizza out of its oven prison. I'm giving mine five more minutes, but I am curious to see how yours turned out. I feel like okay. we both made improvements. Okay. okay. Smells good. Well, she better smell like something. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow! That looks so much better. That looks so much better. Oh no, don't, don't you go back in. There she is. Wow, she looks good. I'm setting her right here because I am terrified of dropping her. Not bad at all. It still looks like cafeteria pizza. Yeah, but. But it's a cafeteria that cares. So what I noticed on yours is that on the sides, your cheese has started to brown a little bit, uh -huh. which is good. So now I'm thinking maybe I should take it out. You're not careful, it's gonna squirt in your eye. Do you need help? You got, <gasps> she also Sure. looks better than 
<laughs> Mine. <laughs> What did you even trip on? The cord. Oh my god, look at how beautiful that pizza looks. It's good. You should enter her in competition. <laughs> like this one. We're gonna bring in our judge. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Are we the same height while sitting down? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> thanks for playing. Well, anyway, thanks for coming to judge. Can you can come to judge. Uh, here are two pizzas. My pizza is a Hawaiian pizza. Ooh. Um, you may notice that it's a little misshapen. That's because I hand tossed <laughs> the dough. Some dough. Wow, so so authentic. Texas. Kinda looks like Illinois. I was gonna say it looks like the shape of Maui. You know what? It looks like Michigan. Oh, well, Don't touch it with your hand. And this also, is the UP that is at the bottom also accidentally. Also a fair amount of the cheese The Parmesan just, just went everywhere. Don't put, okay. The, okay well, I'll put it on mine. See, so evened it out. Wow, I can't wait to put this in my mouth now. <laughs> Jen's looks very, honestly, perfect. Thank uh, you. There is a nice distribution of little peps, which is very classic, unmistakable pizza. So I'm gonna try yours, Jen. Oh wow, yeah, Thank this you. Is much better than I was expecting. Yeah, you know what, so we had two types of dough and I used a crescent dough the first time which I didn't love the flavor as much, mm -hmm. so this time I used the pizza dough which was good because it didn't rise and the problem we had was that these are too thick for the ovens. <laughs> too thick for the ovens. Well, I insisted on using the crescent dough and that's why mine retains its unique special shape. Kristen, this is actually wonderful. Oh really? The shape makes it feel homemade. <laughs> With love. Give me more compliments. <laughs> Damn, this is gonna be hard. These are both so good. I just need to keep eating it. I'm sorry, because I have to. <laughs> this is just a video where we feed Michael lunch for free. So okay. what do you think, Michael? Oh my gosh. You must choose one of your babies or the other one will die. Yeah. Just kidding, neither's gonna die. We're both fine. Tiny steaks, remember. I'm gonna go with Kristen's. <laughs> I feel like the technical challenge, like of Great British Bake Off, yeah. like you win that, but just like the heart, soul, flavor for this one really got me. I thought Joe was gonna win for sure. I took one look at that pizza and I was like, well, I've lost, we're now even. That's your mistake, never assume I'm gonna be victorious. <laughs> you know, I feel like this one was the underdog. It was. Yeah, Yeah, it was shaped like a butt. <laughs> so these are both winners in my eye. I know Thank I had you. to technically declare a winner because those are the rules, but <laughs> you guys, I'm so impressed. You managed to make the Easy Bake Oven into a true culinary tool. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a really clean or straightforward or fast yeah, way to do it. No one can use those ovens again. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, tiny cooking competition. Tiny cooking competition! Making pizza in an oven. Lady tested, Wait, make, making pizza lady in an easy, baked it, easily. Making pizza in an easy bake oven. Wake and bake, baby. <laughs> no, man. Lady tested, making pizza no. in an easy bake oven. Lady tested, no. lady oven. Do we tiny, get, cook, <laughs> tiny cooking competition. Tiny cooking competition! We did it, guys! What are we saying? I it's a cut. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> tiny cooking competition. Easy Bake Oven Pizza Edition. Lady, lady tested. tested. Lady, lady pepperonied. <laughs>